Hello Space Explorers, I am Pothos and welcome to Trigon Space Story. A game not too dissimilar from Faster Than Light, you may have heard of it, it's a game that came out a few years ago. Now this game has some mixed reviews on Steam, some people like it, some people don't. A lot of the people who don't like it seem to think it's quite hard, so when we do play it we'll probably play it on the easier mode. And the developer was kind enough to give us a key to the game, so thank you very much developer, that is very kind of you. And for your convenience, I'll put a link in the description to the Steam store of the game if you'd like to check it out yourself, maybe wishlist it, whatever you feel. Now let's jump into the game. I've just done the tutorial. Let's try the campaign. I'm not sure how far we'll get, but we'll give it a go and see how, how we get on. So it looks like we can only be humans for now. All the others are locked. So if we complete the humans, we can start with other races. That's fine. We won't play iron mode because you cannot pause the game in iron man mode. Out, that's hard. Okay, we're not gonna do hard because we're gonna go easy. There's no kind of middle ground, unfortunately, anyway. Well, that's like a that's like a skull, isn't it? Okay, so this is our ship. Badly worn exterior, peeling paint, and the smell of burnt wiring and cheap oil, blah blah blah. It's a bit of a uh, bit of a wreck. We've got our crew here, Kyle, who's the pilot, and they've all got different stats there. Uh, we've got Leah, who's a high hyperdrive operator, and Anna, who's the engineer. And the weapons we've got are twin plasma turrets and a thunderbolt launcher. After shaking off another Venator patrol, you are trying to understand what's going on. The local communication hub makes it clear that there's a bounty on our head. It would be a good idea to find a safe place until the dust settles. Your friend Ronnie from the asteroid belt knows best how to go to ground. Okay, how's, who's Ronnie? Something's up. So yeah, so basically we can walk around. So we've got, we can click on, the, here's our pilot here. We can left, we can right click to walk him around different rooms. So we've got the bridge here, over here, this room is sensors. And then we got the uh, the weapon armory module room. Then this room controls the doors, I believe. Airlock system, yep. This is the O2, pretty important, the O2. And over here is our hyperdrive. The ship's got uh, hit points in the form of a hole, so 300 out of 300. So we're fully, fully built, fully repaired at the moment. And 20 shields. So I think the shield goes down first, and so when that gets to zero, it starts affecting the hole, taking damage. Up here we've got credits, scrap metal, food supplies, fuel. So we're going to need to jump from system to system with the fuel. This is our this is our bounty level at the moment, at zero. But I think that goes up every day. And if we do, depend on what actions we take, it goes up or down, or mostly up. And as the bounty goes up, we get harder and harder enemies. So evasion. I think that's just how nimble our ship is. How much how much oxygen we have on the ship? And what game day it is, each time we jump somebody somewhere, the game day goes up. And of course we've got our crew here. And the crew can level up apparently, according to the tutorial. And a quick one down here, this is our energy supplies that our reactors can make. And we put those into things like, we put two pips into shield at the moment, two into hyperdrive. Nothing powering the med bay, one pip powering life support. Three power in armory and one in the doors, two in sensors and one on the bridge. So you can upgrade the ship to give it more power and then and upgrade each individual model mod, module, sorry. And I think we can get new weapons and stuff. Right, let's go to the hyperdrive is not charging yet. Oh, it's not charging because the pilot is not on the bridge. So we actually have to get the click the pilot, send it back to the bridge. I made him walk away, so and once he's there, it turns the he starts initiating the hyperdrive countdown again, which is good. And when that gets to zero, we can choose somewhere to go. Two, one, and there we go. Click on that, it opens up the map, and we are here. And we can go to any of these places nearby. And the map is quite big, so we are here. We can kind of zoom out and go to any of these places at all, apparently. And each place is divided up into different sectors. And I think when you go to a different sector, it might lower your bounty, I'm not sure. So our main quest is called Something Up, and that's to go to this place here. An old friend will always help you out. Now you just need to make sure not to lead any venators here. Okay, so the main quest is go and go there to see our friends to help us uh, hide, basically lay low. And there's side quests you can get. We haven't got any side quests at the moment. Yeah, okay, let's go there. And the fastest way it's saying is go here and then there. So let's go here first. And that would have used up some of our fuel, so we've only got six fuel left. Fuel is used to make hyper jumps. Travelling through the system, you stumble upon a planet beneath a strange glass dome. There is peace and tranquility on the planet, and the inhabitants have no idea that space 
light even exists. Maybe it would be best not to disturb them. We can break through the dome or explode, explore the dome from outside. Um, yeah, let's explore it from outside. Let's try and be nice. Upon examining the dome in detail, you realize you that the ancient Itari installed it before even meeting the humans. Apparently, this was how they were trying to learn more about humans before they could venture into space. So weird, you collect the valuable data and leave the sector. So we got 300 credits and 10 food supplies. Nice. Up to 33 food, so that will... We're eating two a turn. Oh, we're making two a turn and we're eating six a turn. Okay. So that all kind of went well. Let's go to uh, Bellatrix system. Unknown system. Something's up. Asteroid belt. Oh, there's an asteroid belt there. So, okay, let's go there. Uh-oh. On your way to the asteroid belt, it becomes clear that there is something wrong here. The stations are silent. No ships in view. You notice strange emissions on the sensors that emanate from a waste recycling module. Where is everyone? I need to find Ronnie in this whole mess. Stat. But that's my American accent. Rubbish, I know. Send one of the crew members to examine the place. Or... This one's yellow because we've got a special skill. And apparently those are normally more preferable, more positive outcomes. Because we've got the engineer traits, one of us has. Send an experienced engineer to examine the place. That's probably what we'll do. You send an experienced engineer to figure out everything out on the site. The engineer walks through the asteroid along its technical tunnels, describing to you strange triangles on the walls. Later he finds a, whatever that is, Titicon in an irradiated location and brings it on board. So we've got 71 scrap and 18 supplies. Okay, we've got lots of food now. The asteroid turns out to be a slaughterhouse. The answers are hidden inside. Lucky ticket. According to the signs of its body, its body, the number is 211314. It will be hard to turn it on. Half of its brains has burnt out. Lucky ticket. Is that like a ro robot or something? You need to find someone who can restart it. Despite the ban, it would be nice to find... A Turticon that has already re reconsidered its life. It looks like you'll go to a pirate station. There is no other place where you'll find a Turticon which could turn another robot on for money. Okay, so basically it's a robot. The Turticon is a robot. Okay, cool. Let's go. Upon arriving in the system, you see an unmanned Venator ship drifting nearby that starts moving towards you. They are openly hostile. Okay, so we've got like a drone attack ship here. Nobody on board. Okay, there it is. So we're going to put space... Okay, it starts paused. It starts paused. They've got 30 hull. We've got 320 shields. So it's kind of a small vessel, but... So what we do here is we click on uh, our weapons here and we choose where we want to, like, shoot. So we could shoot at these empty rooms here, but if we shot at this room, this is its weapon room, so potentially we could take down its weapons. So let's go over there. And then we've got two types of weapons. We may as well kind of, like, double up and go for... Uh, that one as well. So both shoot at those weapons. And then press space, unpause. Oh, it hit Oh, it hit our shields, look. I suppose I suppose it again, it hit our shields, but we've done 10 damage in its hull. And I think we've damaged its weapons now. I don't know. We're reloading our shields. Okay, I'm just gonna unpause and see what happens. It missed us. Oh, hit something. We need to, we need to, oh, do we have to keep doing this? I think we can do auto fire. Hang on, I need auto fire on. Yeah, leave auto fire on. Does that, does that make it harder to, yeah, just keep firing. Um, here. Burst fire mode, what's that? Oh, it's hit our shields. Let's get um get Leo into the shield room. Oh, they're trying to take our shields. Oh, we've got some hull damage here. Why is it why is it getting so hard? Oh Leo, you're getting shot at. Why are we not doing any real damage?
Uh oh, I feel like um, I feel like something's wrong. Am I doing something wrong? Oh, I need to left click, not right click. That's it. I wasn't shooting properly. Okay, my bad. I I, I guess I didn't learn my my lessons in the tutorial. But there you go. You destroy the ship and grab everything you can before it's leaving the system. So we've got 100 credits, 102 credits, 24 scrap, free foods, and our bounty's gone up a bit. It increases the probability, the probability of a Venator attack, whatever that is. Okay, so our life support's a bit damaged here. So we probably should send Leah in to fix the life support. Which is now fix which is good Leo if you go to the sick bay and get yourself you know fixed up take a bit of power out of um oh crap is 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 we're getting attacked because it's but there's rocks there's rocks in the asteroid belt who would have thought but now we have to go over here to find the um the pirate place to turn our robot on apparently Let's go over, yeah, let's go here. Oh, that's where we came, isn't it? It's in like a different way. That's got a nebula. One, two, three, or one, two, three. Yeah, let's go to the nebula way. Let's see what a nebula has to say for itself. There's an enemy ship waiting for you in the system. This will be a tough fight. Are they ever easy? Every fight brings you closer to your goal, and this one is no exception. Okay. Didn't really want a tough... Oh, that's a big... That's a big one. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's smaller than, our, than us, but... Okay, let's... um, Let's actually try to do... A proper job this time. Both weapons at there. We've got auto fire on. Okay, let's just... Let's just make it happen. Oh, Leah... Can you get back, Le Leah? Leah, can you go back into the uh, the shield room, please? Okay, we've taken, we've done a bit of damage. Oh, they hit us, they hit us, they took our shields down. Oh, they've given us a lot of damage. Oh, we're down like a third in our damage. But we're taking out the weapons. Okay, okay, we're taking out the weapons. Let's you continue there and you fight you attack the uh, the shield room. Okay. That's I think it's working. They've stopped firing at us, which is good. We're still pounding pounding them. With one. With one. That was quite damaging to us, but we did it. You destroy the enemy ship and teach them a lesson on second thoughts. If no one survived, there's no one to teach the lesson to. The profound. A lot of credits, food, and fuel. Nice. And our bounty goes up. Uh oh. But two people leveled up. Okay. They've all leveled up. Nice. Okay, maybe we could take this moment to kind of try and repair some of the things. Like this door. Can you, can you get prepared? The whole bridge. Hang on, hang on, pause a bit. There's a... Air leak detected. Check the whole integrity. Okay, let's get the... Let's get the pilot to walk around and check all the rooms. Okay, there's no oxygen in here. That's There's a hole in... Right, fix the hole. Fix the hole, dude. He's fixing it. His health's going down as he's suffocating, as he's trying to fix the hole. But he's plugged it now. We go in here. Go into sick bay. Now we're going to take one pip out of shield and put it into med bay. So that he can get repaired. Uh -huh. Leah, you can also get fixed up. That's it. Get fully healed. Leah, back to shield room. You can go back to the bridge. Take that out of there, put it back into there. Okay, let's level some of these people up. So we can make um, 
a captain, a sprinter, or a hulk. Yeah, let's give him extra help, actually. Um, let's level Leo up. Make a lucky or assault body damage. So lucky means you might not take any damage 50% of the time, and that's reduced the damage by 25%. I reckon lucky. L lucky Leo, we call her. And you can have some body armor. There you go. Cool. So because we're in the nebula, our sensor's not working. But that's, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, let's get moving. Oh, what's this? There's a space trade station. Okay, so we could probably pop up we could probably pop over there and maybe uh, use our money and to do a bit of trading before we go on our merry way to the pirate place. As you fly through the system, you come across a trading station. Usually, you can exchange resources or buy something cheap at such a places. You fly into the station without a second thought, maybe this time you will find what you need. Oh, we've still got a hole breach? Hang on a minute, what's going on? Oh, there's a hole here. And then you've got a hole. You, you fix that one over there. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh -huh. Now we need you guys to heal up again. Okay, while they're doing that, you can maybe trade with these guys. So the shipyard, there's a bar. Get the shipyard, maybe we can get repaired. How much to repair us all the way? 282 to repair us. I think that's probably a good move. And that'll take the money down to this much. It'll cost this much, except that. Okay, cool. Okay, let's check out a bar. So. There's other people we can maybe buy or, or hire. These are people. And over here we've got a warrior. Engineer. Okay, so what have we got? We've got a hyperdrive operator and an engineer. So ideally we want somebody else. So there's a pilot, hyperdrive, hyperdrive, engineer, or warrior. Okay, warrior might be interesting. They are quite expensive though. But yeah, let's get Heyo the warrior. Why not? Let's do it. Let's have him on board. Welcome aboard, my friend. We healed up. We'd be, we'd, we fixed up. We've got a new crew member. And we met at the bar. We hired him. We said, hey, welcome aboard. Do you want to be part of our crew? He's like, yeah, hell yeah. Let's go on the ventures. And then we're like, we got him. Okay, let's go. Back out to it. I mean, I potentially should have bought some fuel. But, you know, and there he is. Heyo. Where can you live? You can live somewhere. You might as well live... On a hyperdrive and help us, help us um, do that faster. Leah, you need to be over by the engines. You need to be over by the. Oh, hang on. If you're a warrior, do you do that faster? Actually, you can go by sensors. Maybe we'll be able to see more of what's going on in the enemy ship. Okay, let's go to hyperspire hyperdrive, and we'll head over towards this place. We've, never, we've not been there before, so let's go there. You enter a system full of other ships. As you look around, you quickly recognize or realize that this is a casino station. Fun, games, whatever your heart desires, but not for free, of course. Well, we can never get drunk with them. Or fly away before you waste all your money. Let's get drunk with them. Casino Station has a long has long been considered places to relax and have a drink. Even with your enemies, you decide to give up give the old tradition a shot. As you order a drink for yourself and the venerator sitting at the nearby table, after a few rounds of Venegammon and a couple of shots, they promise not to mess with your ship. At least for the near future. Okay. Um so they're all defrosted. The unit has been recently defrosted, meaning moving it speed decreases. The unit takes more damage. The unit can be put back in cryo chamber while the effects last. Okay, so we lost a bit of bounty, but all our people have got a hangover. So that's okay. All right, next place. Let's go to the uh, actual mission quest marker. Oh, I can hear a warning. A pirate station, they are usually disguised as on 
has been uninhabited. If it hadn't been for your old connections, you would have you would have had to look for it much longer. Approaching the station, you begin to feel a sense of adventure. Oh. The station it the station is in chaos, gambling, forbidden pleasures, and eagle goods. Somewhere in the mess must be the take. Tikon Hacker you are looking for, but where to begin your search? Head for head to play a game of poker, take a walk around, talk to smugglers, buy a lottery ticket. I mean, let's buy a lottery ticket. You never know. You don't understand why you suddenly felt the urge to buy a lottery ticket, but it's a popular form of entertainment on pirate stations. Buy a lottery ticket, you don't actually expect to win anything, and that's just what happens. Why did you think buying one of in the first place <laughs> why did you think of buying one in the first place i don't know oh wow i would not have if they if i thought they were that expensive 50 credits i mean how many lottery tickets did we buy at the address you find a small workshop of an old tatican he immediately figures out why you are here and demands a pretty penny for a lucky ticket um we might have wasted our money on things like lottery tickets and and beer Pay with resources, offer to help in exchange for repairs, or use our engineer to check the price with you. Check the price of an engineer. Let's do that, yeah. Your engineer is shocked at the price. He raises, I mean, I mean, he wasn't shocked about a lottery ticket price. He raises some good arguments and proves that the repairs could be done much cheaper. The Tatican reluctantly agrees and offers to help for next to nothing. For less than a lottery ticket, lucky ticket bounces back. He tells you about the events at the station. Two Venator ships enslaved almost everyone there. Everyone who resisted was killed on sight. The lucky guy regrets having disassembling himself since he's a robot. The very thought that it feels regret about a successful disassembling sounds odd. However, it didn't want to lose its memory unit. So it chose to burn itself in a recycling module where no one was likely to stick their nose in. Well, you're back. You're back, lucky ticket, whoever you are. And he's a weapons operator. Oh, we need one of those. So we got a new dude. And you can go over there. Lucky ticket. And you can go over there. Are we getting our shields damaged? What's happening here? That pulse keeps taking our shields down. It's a bit weird. Oh, EMP. Okay, so uh, probably should just get out of here. Okay, well, let's just go once we uh, are able. Lucky Ticket is a great guy. He will trace back everyone taken from the station, which, which means now is the time to go in pursuit. Okay, so Lucky Ticket saying to go over to this place, which is in a different sector. Now, in the tutorial, it said to get to the different sectors, you have to go through these gateways, and the gateways are guarded by, like, well, guardians, which are kind of nasty fights, but, you know... We'll see how it goes. Okay, so we need to get to this gate here. Now we could go in a straight line across, but we've been to that system, we've been to that system. It says we've got bounties there. Um, why don't we go a slightly longer route? Let's go up here, then go to there, and maybe we, from there we can either choose to go to the past the shop again, and then to there and then down. Oh no, we can't go that way. Actually, we could go south. Let's go here, one, two, three. So it's one extra stop, we've been there before. But then we can decide to go straight in or there and then there. Okay, let's go that way. Let's go to Poppers. Oh, I didn't realise we're quite low on fuel. I didn't quite realise that. There are many planets in the Itari system and you are at a field with slaves and prisons. You spot one of these on your sensors and witness a mass breakout there. Should you help the fugitives? Yes, pick up the fugitive. You fly up to one of the prisoners and offer the locals to join you on your venture. You find a couple of volunteers. A couple? Okay, so we've got a pilot and a warrior. Nice. Don't eat all our food. And we're getting attacked by an unmanned venator ship. Oh, craps. I unpulled it. And let's go for there and there to try and take out his weapons. I think we've done it. I'm not sure our shield are damaged. No, it still appears to be firing. So it's, only, it's just damaged. It's not completely um, taken out. But they're firing on us. Hopefully we can dodge it because our shields are very low. No, he hits us right into the uh, shield department. 
We've got some, got some good shots on, but okay, we took a little bit of damage there. Um, and we've got a whole bridge of fire here. You destroyed a ship and grab everything. Oh, we've got some food. We didn't want food. We wanted fuel. And now, um, uh, uh, yeah, okay. So our bounces up again. Our bounces up again. All right, are you good? You're repairing. Heyo. Ayo is a warrior. Is everybody healthy? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, let's um... What's happened here? I want to take the... Oh, we... We still had um... We still had um... Power in the med bay. And we should have had it in shields. Let's leave it in shields for now. Oh, a lucky ticket. Oh, this is um... Oh, we've got another lucky ticket equivalent. What are these guys? Okay, cool. Right, I don't. Hopefully, we find some fuel at some point. We have been down there. Oh no. Let's go up here to Ain then and fight uh, this enemy, and hopefully, we can get some fuel from it. Who knows? Otherwise, we're gonna run out. Upon arriving in the system, you notice a human ship of swords in a spaceport. Eat this bar steward, you're going to die here. Uh, let's intervene. Well, what the heck do you think you're doing, you bar steward? Think you're some kind of hero? I'm trying to be. Okay, so we can see, because we've got this guy in the sensor room, we can see inside where the people are. Well, let's fire at their weapons as per usual. Stop them actually hurting us. Both of that, and uh, yeah, let's just go over it. Yeah, they've hit our shields. We've done a bit of. We we can't. We haven't really got through their shields. That's it. We've done a bit of damage now to their weapons. Yeah. They're attacking us. We're attacking them. The shields are up again. Oh, we've missed them. We didn't want to miss. We didn't really want to miss that. Oh, it's empty. Hang on. This run out of... Um, I didn't realise this had an actual... Oh, it's a rocket launcher. It's run out of juice or rounds. That's not good. Um, well, okay then. Let's, let's turn that off. It's, it was empty. Put the power into medbay. So we're firing at the. We, we're desperate. We might not survive this. We're def desperately firing on the, on their um, weapons room to try and try and stop them shooting us back. Maybe we should shoot at their shields. I don't know. Maybe we should switch targets to their shields. Need a few lucky shots to get through the shields to completely take out the shields. Stop them charging up so that we can then twitch targets to their weapons. Oh, the, the shields are down. The shields are down. Right, switch targets now to their weapons. Oh, we did it. We did it. We just did enough hole damage. Hopefully, they've got some fuel in this ship that we can steal. Oh, they have we've got one fuel. They've got one fuel. Um, scrap credits. We've got some more rockets that we can use maybe for that weapon. Our bounty's gone up a bit. Is everybody healed up? Is everybody... Uh -huh. Leah's a bit injured. Leah, go get healed up. Leah's nice and healed up. Leah, go and fix the, uh, the door, please. Our oh, airlock systems that da were damaged. Okay, let's get back to your station. Oh, hang on. Lucky Tick is an ex weapons expert. The weapon is instantly charged with a probability of 20%. The we unit must be in the weapons operator. Yeah, we need to have. You need to put you in there then. Oh, you. Oh, you are in there. Sorry, Lucky Tick. Lucky Tick is in there. That's good. Oh, actually, Heyo can level up. So Heyo, you can be. You can be. Um, 
You can be lucky. Cool. Is everybody, is everybody good? Everybody get healed up. Okay, good, good. Okay, let's now, with our one fuel, because we've only got one fuel left, head over to, I suppose, a train station? I wasn't sure we could buy anything at the train stations. Yeah, let's go there anyway. I presume that there's a shop we can buy stuff at, which I missed. So we've got no fuel left now. Trade, here we are, okay. We need to buy some of your finest fuel, please. Quite expensive. Quite expensive. So two fuel, three fuel, four fuel. It leaves us with a hundred. I guess we could sell some scrap in that. Okay, let's accept that as the fuel. Let's try and fix our ship a little bit. Shipyards. As much as we can, let's fix that. That we can't do that much we can fix it that little bit there except that okay leads us eight credits okay back to here management can we fix our own ship hang on we got um scrap metal can we put some into shield generator like that and then we probably need a bit more there let's use some scrap up except that just to make our shields a little bit better then we can put that there and our shields go up to 30 rather than 20. So we're just a bit more defensive. I think that's a good use. We don't have much scrap left, we don't have much credit left, but we've got lots of food and a little bit of fuel. Okay, we're on the edge here. We are on the edge, but let's go. We'll go to Nebula first and then to the gate. I think there might be something to fight here. No, let's just get out of here. Next place. To the gate. Okay, we're out of food. Oh no. I didn't realise we're eating so much food because we've got so many people. Upon arriving in the system, pieces of asteroids and clouds of space dust blur your senses. You peer into the mist and recognise the contours of the USG class miner. It was thought that these ships were destroyed in the Federal clearance operations. You're in awe to find such a rare thing and try to establish contact with the ship. However, an energy missile explodes only meters from your ship, bringing clarity to the situation. You prepare your weapons for battle. Okay, continue. That's a big boy ship. That's a big boy ship. So we've got nine missiles now. No, we haven't. Okay, we've had, okay, so we've got different types of missiles. We've got Speedfire and we've got um, Mastiff. Let's go for Mastiff because they seem to be doing more damage. And we'll have Auto Fire and we're going to go for the... Maybe we should take the shields down first. That seemed to be the thing last time to do. So we'll go for shields. Everything can just attack in their shields. Oops, hang on. Yeah, okay, so we've got both attacking the, sh the shields. So the plan is, when the shields are down, if they get down, then we'll switch targets to the weapons. And by, the the, by, the, by that time, hopefully we've done a lot of hull damage and we destroy them and we win and we get lots of food because we're out of food. Okay. It's a tough one. Let's go. Unpause. Do your things, guys. Oh, that was rubbish. We need some more good hits here. We need some more good hits. Keep firing. Have I, have I got an auto fire? Auto fire, come on. Oh crap, what have they done to us? Keep firing, guys. Keep firing. Our, our, our shields are holding up. But I think they might be ignoring some of the shields. Are we. Are we. Are we gonna fire? Oh, we haven't chosen a. Oh, we haven't chosen. What happened now? Okay, that was good. We've damaged the shields, not. not Put them out of commission but damage them they got people in there repairing so we're doing doing damage to their people as we continue to pound that room oh dear that's done some damage to us okay they're, they're um i paused it their shield room their shield room is out of ac action for now until they repair it let's switch targets to the weapons Unpause. 
Pounding that. They've got no shields. Pounding their weapons. Pounding their weapons. More, more pounding, please. Okay, they've got their, they've got their shields up. Twitch targets back to the shields. One to shields, one to weapons. Oh, that was good. That was good. So, oh, I can. They're all. All the shields are down again. Pounding the weapons. It's a big fight. It's a big fight. Oh, craps. How are the shields up? But they've got shields again. But with, um, they seem to have shields up, even though their shield room is damaged. Not sure what's going on there. Continue. I mean, their hole is quite low. They've got 37 hole out of 160. So just keep pounding them. We should get through this. Okay, the the weapons are out of commission. They've got no oxygen. There's a fire in there. They're trying to repair it with a fire in there. Come on, one more. We've got one hole point. One hole point. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I think we used quite a lot of ammo, but and we've got some more fuel. We've got ten burgers, which we're getting through quite fast. Scrap credits and. A new weapon, a plasma weapon. That might be best rather than the missiles, I'm not sure. 35% penetration chance. Does it say how much uh, power it uses? It reloads every 9 seconds, so it's quite a slow fire. Okay. Okay, we've got a few achievements there for killing that boss. Let's make sure everybody is uh, all healed up. Everyone go to the... This robot leveled up. So you can have nano machines or Hulk. The half organic structure allows Tekken's to cure wounds with the help of nano machines that are produced inside the body. Let's just give you more um, more help in general. And you can have you can be lucky. I think lucky is a good thing. Okay, so now that we're here, we can fly it to the other side, through the gate, to the annex sector. For the first time ever. Our bounce is at 2.3. Let's see if it goes down. Or up, maybe. It's gone down to 0 0.9. Okay, so basically it gets harder and harder. And then when it's too hard, you have to leave the sector. And your bounty goes down again. The sectors are interconnected by a chain of narrow hyper corridors. Inexperienced pilots can easily get lost in their autopilot. If the autopilot fails, good job. You don't have that problem. Because we actually have a, a trained pilot. So there you go my friends, this is Trigon Space Story. Let me know what you think of it in the comments, I'll be very happy to hear from you. I really do enjoy reading every single one of those comments and I do reply to as many as I can. And so far, that has been all of them. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. You can also watch a video here, or you can watch this video over here. And as always, I've been Pothos, you've been awesome. Goodbye!